Hey guys, even here and we are one day out of the Portugal Pro and we have some really interesting updates but we are starting with the same controversy we had last year with Stefan Matala. He was caught cheating at the wings. I know, I know, why again? We had literally the same story last year at the last show Stefan did and I thought this year weight is not gonna be a problem because he got so ripped, so shredded. Just look at this level of conditioning. This was never seen before on Stefan Matala, not even close, not even remotely close. And the craziest thing is Patrick Tour says that this has no filters and he's usually very heavy with filters but this video has no filters. He is peeled, peeled all the way down, super, super shredded, basically there is no body fat left on him and because of that, because of the fact that there is no body fat left on him, there was a lot of it last year, fat and water, this time around he is dry and shredded and still he couldn't make the weight. I mean, he made it, officially he made it, he's in, but take a look at these guys, this is not even close to being accurate, like they measured his hair, I mean there is what, like an entire inch left, literally, an entire freaking inch, this can potentially mean another 10 freaking pounds, and I don't have a video of this, but I heard he actually measured himself twice on a weight scale. He was still too heavy when he stepped on the stage after measuring his height taller than he really is. And he was still, I think, like one kilo or like a couple of pounds heavier. But then he removed his uh, trunks, his shorts, and then he made weight. And I don't think his, his trunks were that heavy. I mean, his shorts. But forget about that. Take a look at this. Just take a look at this. I mean, how much is there, really? an entire inch, once again, that can be 10 extra pounds, from a promoter standpoint, I absolutely get it, Stefan Matala is extremely popular, his Instagram is crazy, like he is really, really popular, he's definitely the most popular guy at this show, everybody wants to see him there, so I understand that, but also as a competitor, I know what it means to cut weight, when you're already peeled and dry, what some competitors have to go through to make the weight, it's like the most difficult part of the prep, like forget about dieting or anything like that, making the weight for the last day or two, when you're having to do like uh, saunas and taking some dangerous things to lose the weight last moment, you know, that can be really tough, if you guys compete, you know exactly what I'm talking about, I've been through it, a lot of my clients have been through it, some of my friends, I've been there with them, it's freaking insanely tough, and this guy get away without doing any of that, so it's really not fair to the other guys, I don't know why they even let him do this, if you can't make the weight, switch to the open, I mean, that's what his body wants to, I mean, he's struggling so hard for the last couple of years to make the weight, and now that he got super, super shredded, as you can see, also, he's very flat here, I'm sure he had no carbs, he was probably very low in water, but I'm sure they could have done a little bit more to make the weight, maybe they couldn't, maybe that was it, maybe they did everything they can, and still it wasn't enough, that's just his body telling him he's too big for classic and he should move to the open, but, you know, he, he, he got away with it here, but will he be able to get away with it at a Mr. Olympia? No, no, I don't think so, I don't think those guys are gonna let him do this for him, you know, measure him a couple of centimeters, like an inch taller than he really is. Now, if they measured him correctly, maybe he would still make the weight, but I don't know how accurate these scales are, what I can see for sure is that they measured his height incorrectly, now, I've competed at some shows where every single competitor is like an inch taller. They measure you correctly, but they set the scale so it measures you taller than you really are. I've seen that, but not at pro shows. I would expect this to be regulated properly. So, I mean, I'm, I'm really excited to see Stefan on stage, he looks insane. But if I know that he is heavier than everybody else... And all other guys had to suffer down, lose muscle, lose water, dehydrate a little bit more than they needed to, and he gets away without doing any of that, it's not fair, it's really not fair.
But once again, he is gonna be amazing on that stage. Like, his conditioning is absolutely nuts. I mean, this is kind of conditioning you don't see very often on anybody, really. And the calves are basically telling you everything. Look at the freaking calves. Look at how lean they are. When calves are like this separated, this dry, you can see every single fiber, basically. That means you have no body fat left. And also, like, the quads, they are freaking... Peeled, peeled, I mean, this is insane. What Patrick Tour did with him as far as conditioning is absolutely insane. I mean, does he need to carb up even more? I think he is full here. He already got a lot fuller. Yesterday, he was a lot flatter based on the photos he posted yesterday. And I was afraid he won't even be able to carb up back again because it happens sometimes. When you deplete too much, when you're flat for too long, when you're too dehydrated, too tired, and so on, and I'm sure he had to suffer really badly in the past uh, last weeks uh, to make this weight. I was expecting him to have troubles, you know, filling up, but no, no, whatever Patrick Tour did with him, he did it right. He actually managed to fill up very nicely, and he has one more day to go, so maybe he can get even fuller. I don't see how he can get any drier, <laughs> leaner, but like maybe with more fullness, he's gonna look harder, and that's it. So he's gonna look amazing on that stage, that's not a debate. But this thing, measuring him like this, not cool. Not cool at all. What do you guys think? Tell me down below. Alright, next up, we got a physique update also at one day out from William Bonac. Actually, this is from two days out, from yesterday. And William Bonac is looking insane right now. Like, he is looking just as good as he did at Ampro Cup Spain. Maybe even improved. I would even go as far as to say that he's improved. I mean, like, the details and the density, like, in the chest, in the shoulders, in the arms, in the back, and the conditioning in the glutes, like, he's really freaking shredded, dry, full at the same time, kind of, like, maybe not as full as he was when he was at his best, but I think with this kind of conditioning, this shape that he's bringing, you can't even see his weaknesses, his weak points the things that went wrong with his physique in the past couple of years. Like, everything is pretty much hidden now because of how well he's peaking. So, obviously, he's the favorite tomorrow to win the Portugal Pro against Nathan Diasha. But I don't know who's going to win this. Whatever guess I make is going to be just a wild guess. I mean, it could be very well Nathan Diasha. We have an update of him. We're going to see it in a second. But, pff, I don't know, man. William Bonac is looking crazy right now. Like, super ripped super super hard and detailed on that stage under those lightings it's gonna be even more exaggerated so yeah like he is gonna look phenomenal can he lose this show can he lose it to nathan diasha well we got a physique update from nathan diasha at the same spot i believe and i would say nathan is a lot fuller a lot fuller a lot rounder and bigger and from what his coach stefan kinsel says his conditioning at two days out was uh, like at the last show at one day out. They have like a day or day and a half of advantage. So he's gonna be a little bit drier and they're aiming for the same fullness. Now as you can see he is full at this point. Really full, really round. And I think his conditioning is improved, especially in the lower body, which was the goal. I mean the glutes are definitely more conditioned. But, like, are they more conditioned than Bonax? And, like, what about the back? I think Bonax is definitely, like, harder and more detailed from behind. In the back itself and the glutes and hamstrings. So, from behind, Bonax is gonna have an advantage in conditioning. I would say from the front as well. He's gonna be more detailed. But Nathan is gonna be blasting full. He's gonna be bigger. He's also taller. So, I mean, it's gonna be an interesting comparison. I really don't know at this point who's gonna win. Like, once again, whatever I said who I think is gonna win this would be just a wild guess. But again, Bonac is obviously the favorite based on his uh, previous recent track record. He beat Behrouz, Behrouz beat Nathan, but that victory of uh, Bonac over Behrouz was very controversial, so this is, I mean, anything is possible here. Once again, Bonac, I think he's definitely like... Uh, more polished, you know, he has, like, better details, deeper details, like, better maturity, that kind of stuff, like, he's more conditioned, if you ask me, he has some details that Nathan doesn't have, he's also a master of presentation, 
So if I had to say who's gonna win it, I mean, I would like to say it's gonna be Nathan, because I like to cheer for the underdog, but as of right now, I would rather bet on Bonnick. Even though Nathan looks so much bigger, and uh, Bonnick, you know, he has those flaws that happened over the past couple of years, you know, like his left lat, one of his legs, you know, lost fullness in the shoulders and the arms and the chest, but still, still, I mean, when he was at his best, he was second at the Mr. Olympia, guys. Like, he almost became the best bodybuilder in the world. He won the Arnold Classic multiple times. So when he's not at his prime, I think he can still beat these guys who are, like, top 10 in the world. So at this point, honestly, anything is possible. Bona can win, Nathan can win. Whatever you guys think, whoever you have winning, just tell me down below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, guys, subscribe to this channel. And once again, guys, if you're looking for coaching and you don't want to hire one of the top coaches who are charging you a lot of money and who have a ton of clients, you want somebody who is affordable and there for you always, you can DM me, go to my Instagram, check out my other clients and so on. DM me, we can talk about it and we can agree and start working. Anyways, guys, once again, thank you for watching. See you soon. See you tomorrow, actually, at a pre-judging of the Portugal Pro. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.